video i have told you about the ipo that is the input process output today we will discuss about this process in this process first comes the input devices now you will ask that what are input devices so i am going to show you what are input devices about the input devices the mostly used input devices uh, are number 1 keyboard number 2 mouse number 3 scanner number 4 microphone and number 5 joystick now talking about the input devices first comes the keyboard what is a keyboard students you all know what is a keyboard a keyboard has many keys on it and we use those keys to input data inside the computer you can see here this is a keyboard and you can also see that there are various keys on the keyboard the alphabet keys the number keys the function keys the cursor control keys the special keys various keys are there on the keyboard through which we operate the computer or through which we put data inside the computer next among the input devices comes the mouse what is a mouse children i think you all have used mouse in your computer lab you have seen mouse so a mouse helps us to do a lot of work in the computer how what are those works it lets us point and select items on the screen on the screen when you move the mouse it lets us uh, it uh, when you move the mouse on the screen the pointer also moves according to the mouse according to the movement of the mouse okay next it lets us draw and paint students you all have used ms paint in class 2 in your computer lab so by using the mouse you paint various objects by using the mouse you draw various objects isn't it so we can draw very easily with the help of a mouse on the screen next it lets us drag any item from one place to another of course uh, it, it 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 can it can uh, it can drag means uh, we can drag with the help of uh, the mouse we can drag any file from one place to another to move any icon from one place to another we can use the mouse okay next types of mouse various types of mouse are used nowadays the most common of all of them are the are the optical mouse the most common of them are the optical mouse a scroll mouse optical scroll mouse a scroll mouse has a wheel in the center of the two buttons at the center of the two buttons there is a wheel that wheel is known as the scroll wheel okay this wheel moves up and down by scrolling by scrolling the wheel up and down you can move a page up and down got it next a scroll mouse can be an optical mouse or a wireless mouse of course a scroll mouse can be an optical mouse or a wireless mouse uh, children you all have used the mouse uh, a wired mouse you have used i think in your computer lab also there are wired mouses uh, you can see uh, the mouse is connected with the computer with the help of a wire uh, uh, with a wire is it the mouse is connected with the computer with a wire that is a wired mouse got it and another type of mouse is there which is wireless mouse wireless means it is not attached with the computer the wired mouse is attached with the computer through a wire and a wireless mouse is not at all attached with the computer it works through signals okay now you will ask what kind of signals children the way you use the remote to control your television the remote is sending signal to the television and the television is been controlled by the remote okay so just like the remote the mouse the wireless mouse also sends signal to the computer when it works okay 
Now, the mouse actions. About the mouse actions. What are mouse actions? There are various various type of uh, I mean uh, there are various there are various actions which we can perform with the help of a mouse with those only two buttons and the scroll and the scroll wheel. Okay, the most popular of them is the single click. The single click action. You make a click and select any item. You move the mouse, make a click, select uh, any item on the screen. Okay, that is the single click action and this action there are two types of actions that is the right click and the left click okay on the on the uh, left click option there are two buttons on the mouse so the button which is on the left side if we click that button that is a left click action okay if we click on the button that is on the left side of the mouse that is a left click action and if we press the button on the right side of the mouse that is a right click action okay now double click what is a double click when you if you suppose if you are uh, going to open any um, application or software on the computer Suppose if you are going to um, open MS Paint, then what you will do? You will move the mouse pointer on MS Paint logo and then make a double click. The Paint logo opens. Isn't it? You make a double click. So this double click is also an action. Double click. Okay? And drag and drop. Drag and drop. What is drag and drop? You drag any object by pressing the key and move to another place that icon or that particular object will be moved from the place to the next uh, to the desired place you want okay now drag and drop is used to change the position of an icon you can change the position of an icon or uh, item from one place to another okay now let's talk about our next input device that is a scanner. What is a scanner? It's just a photocopy machine that copies text and pictures from paper to the computer. From a computer, if you print anything, it comes out throughout the printer in the form of a paper. But if you if you want to put the contents of the paper inside the computer again, then how you will do? You have to put that paper inside the scanner and the scanner will scan the paper and put it on the computer screen. Okay. Now, uh, a scanner copies the text and pictures from a paper onto a computer. In other words, a scanner creates a digital copy of what is there on the paper. The paper is a copy where the texts are there. If you want to put those texts inside the computer and you want to see those texts on the screen then that will be a digital copy of the text okay so the scanner converts it into a digital copy and shows it to us through the screen this is a scanner you can see as you can see uh, this is a scanner here if you open it if you open the uh, upper portion there is a place where you have to put your paper and if you press it if you press if you press the um, fold then the copy of the paper will be shown on the computer screen next moving to our next input device next from the ipo cycle input devices i have told you now the processing device of the computer processing unit of the computer where the data get processed Processing unit, in the, in the category of the processing unit, first comes the CPU, that is the central processing unit. Children, you must have seen that in a computer there is a box, the box with which all the devices are connected, the monitor, the mouse, the keyboard, the printer, all the devices are connected to one single box. 
actually the work the processing work is mainly done in this box this is the cpu of the computer the full form of cpu is central processing unit the full form of the cpu is i'm repeating again central processing unit okay now cpu is also called the brain of the computer it is responsible for processing the data given by the user we give data to the computer the computer processes it it this uh, box processes those data and gives us a meaningful result through the monitor or either through the printer okay the process of changing the entire data into a meaningful information is called processing the changing of the data into a meaningful information is called processing okay the results after processing is been displayed through the output so you can imagine that this processor is one of the most important part of a computer cpu that is the central processing unit is always kept inside a box actually the brain of the computer is the central processing unit the central processing unit is also known as the brain of the computer so that is a small microchip okay the processor is a small microchip that is placed inside this box all the parts of the computer are connected with this cpu box as i told you now cpu is meant cpu is made up of three parts cpu is made up of three parts the three main parts they are the arithmetic and logic unit a l u you must have pronounced it as alu but <laughs> it is a l u the full form of a l u is arithmetic and logic unit after that number 2 is cu that is the control unit and the last one is the memory unit where all the data are been stored inside the computer okay now describing the arithmetic and logic unit all the calculations of a computer all the cal calculations that you were putting inside the computer or all the calculations which you were doing on the computer those calculations are performed by the arithmetic and logic unit that is the alu it alu performs the following calculations what are those calculations arithmetic calculations like addition subtraction division multiplications logical calculations like finding the greater number the smaller number and sorting which one is greater um, putting the numbers in descending order putting the numbers in ascending order all these logical works are done by the alu the arithmetic and logic unit next moving towards the control unit what is a control unit control unit works like a manager and checks that all the computer operations are taking place correctly or not control unit works as a manager inside the computer it manages all the works whether the computer is turning on on or not whether the computer is working properly or not whether the computer is keeping the files properly or not each and every arena are been followed up by this control unit it controls the working of all parts of the computers also how it is check it checks regular on a regular basis it checks that whether the keyboard is working properly or not whether the mouse is working properly or not whether the printer is working properly or not whether the speaker is working properly or not whatever the de devices connected with the computer whatever the devices which are connected with the computer are been checked by this control unit okay next 
the memory unit cpu stores all the data and instructions that need to be processed in the memory unit okay the memory unit then passes this data and instruction to the other units all the instructions all the informations are being stored inside the memory unit of the computer now this memory unit unit what it does it just passes those data to the several devices which are connected with the computer or while processing any data it uses those instructions from the memory unit now students there is a practice zone in your book i'll be giving that practice zone to you so that you can practice that at your home okay what you have to do you have to make a computer copy a rough one for this days a rough computer copy you have to make and in that computer copy you have to do the task what i will give which i will give okay the task is a practice zone from the book this practice zone you have to do in your copy i'll be sending this practice zone in a document format in your in the school website the document will be there you just have to collect the document and do it by yourself if you face any problem while doing this practice zone please go through the videos again and again so that your conception should get clear to clear your conception go through the videos again and again and after going through the videos do the practice zone in your copy understood thank you